We're looking at the back panel of the 1608 where um, in lieu of an outboard patch bay we do the connections to the outside world. Um, if we start on the right side we're looking at a typical input to channel 1, input to channel 2. Starting at the top we have the direct out on an XLR connector. We've got an insert return. Those connectors are done on a quarter inch. They're all balanced. We have an insert send. Then we have an equalizer input. We've got a preamp output. We've got an instrument input, which is really interesting. We've got an instrument input, which is really interesting. You've got a quarter inch input on the back of the console, where it, it actually is a it's a high level direct box. You can plug a bass guitar, you can plug an electric guitar, you can plug a keyboard output straight into the instrument input. If you relate it to our outboard products, it's the same input as a 205. It's the same input as the quarter inch input on a 512 mic pre. So it's a little added benefit. Yeah. Uh, we have the mic input on an XLR and we have a line input on an XLR. So when you think about your access to the channel, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight patch points to every channel on the console. Again, it gives you it gives you the same type of features that you get on our API Legacies and Legacy Plus consoles. Moving over to the center section, it gets a little bit more complicated, but it's interesting. It gives you a lot of features and a lot of flexibility. We have the echo returns, aux one through eight, not only on quarter inch jacks, but on a DV25 connector duplicated. So depending on what uh, format you're working in, you've got easy access to your echo returns. Now, right below it, we have the echo return 500 slots. We have inputs and outputs for channels 1 to 4 echo return and inputs and outputs for channels uh, 5 to 8. Those allow you to, on the 500 option slots, to break the normal uh, to the echo return inputs uh, and take those 500 slots, whether you're using a compressor or an equalizer, and send them over to any channel via that patch point. Uh, we have the echo send inputs below that, the external inputs into the echo send, and again, we're duplicated both on quarter inch jacks and a DV25 connector, depending on what your format is, in, depending on what the format in the studio uh, you're working in is. To the left, Program bus mix inputs. That's your inputs to the eight buses on the uh, console. We also, uh, the program buses are, uh, you know, the program bus inputs are both quarter inch and DB25 duplicated once again. Uh, on the stereo program bus, we get a little bit more flexible. We have uh, XLR connector output from the stereo bus to whatever stereo format you're working on. We also have insert send and insert return. So it's very easy to patch a stereo bus compressor across the program bus using the inserts. The, these are all XL, or these are all quarter inch TRS balanced? Yes, that's correct. They're all quarter inch TRS balanced. Um, one of the great things about having the insert send and return is not only do you have the jack accessibility to patch a stereo bus, it's also switchable. So you have a switch on the center section to turn on the compressor, turn off the compressor on your stereo bus. As well as every channel has an insert switch. Exactly. Um, the far left side. Six track playback, you have left and right output on XLRs, and then you have six track playback one, six track playback two, and six, play, six track playback three on DB25 connectors. One of the things we thought was really important was to have the stereo output of the console on XLRs. So for all the purists out there, and we're purists as well, there's no question about the integrity of that connector on that stereo output. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we also feature two sets of additional monitor controls. You have a small one and a small two. So you can have three sets of stereo speakers in the control room. Each of them has XLR outputs on the back plane, and each of them has a switch on the front panel. Let's move on down to the control room outputs. You've got six XLRs out for a 5.1 uh, surround monitoring uh, spectrum. Uh, just to the right, you have the talk back in for a mic. You have the oscillator out if you want to patch the oscillator onto a traditional analog machine for alignment purposes. 
there's a, there's a hole in the console. It's labeled expander. This is a ALCO connector, a multi-pin ALCO connector that will be mounted on the production models that allow you to take a 1608 expander of another 16 channel console with one multi-pin connector and connect it into the field. So your buses are married, your auxes are married. Uh, you have the true 32 channel 1608 console with eight buses and eight auxes.